The B.C. government unveiled their budget this week, rolling out big boosts in education spending. But despite the big boost, critics argue that post-secondary students got the short end of the stick because all they'll be getting is a lower interest rate on their student loan. I ask these BCIT students whether or not the government should have offered more support for post-secondary students in this year's budget. Definitely. I think they can do more in general, for sure. Hopefully we can elect some better government officials in the upcoming election. Actually, I've been pretty okay because I've been lucky. The apprentice, being an apprentice is, uh, is a lot easier, I think, than the other courses that you can take here. Because the loans don't cover everything. Uh, like They calculate like how much you would need, which is way off. You can't really do much in our society anymore if you don't have a post-secondary education. You can't get good jobs, can't get <laughs> And then you're kind of just stranded with it. I think they should really do more because where little just regular schools like high school and things like that, like that kind of sets us up for just kind of retail stores and slow jobs where actual post-secondary is actually where all the money into this country goes to. If you could tell Christy Clark one thing about uh, how, you know, how they could better serve you as a post-secondary student, what would you tell her? Tell her that just uh, get, just take some time, get learn what's actually happening for herself and see what actual differences you can actually make. Well, your numbers are way off. Um, please don't be fooled uh, and don't think that textbooks can be covered by $300 per semester. You are living in a dream world. <laughs> One of our textbooks is only 200 something, which, you know, that's all the money you provide. Tiffany Goodwin in Burnaby for BCIT News.